Okay, I just want to make this uh, quickly. Don't come here to insult me. If you come here to insult me, I will also insult you. Okay, Chuku, I'm fine. By the grace of God, I'm fine. Okay, let me just go straight to the point. Um, about two months ago, I saw this... Um, videos on Facebook about Halloween. Halloween, it's it's a kind of a horror thing people do, like they stab themselves in their blood. Some put knives in their throat and and they, they post it and they use it to scare people. So I saw this guy on, on Facebook who did the same thing and I was like, oh, I love art. I love art. So I wish I could do it. And I didn't really know how they do this thing. I'm an actress, but I've not gotten to a point where um, you get a knife stuck in your tummy or something like that. So I decided to do it. So we did it about two months ago. But after we did, we did that thing, the Halloween, I said, when I saw the video myself, I said, I'm not going to post this video. It's going to cause a lot of problem. So... I didn't do it. I didn't post the video. I kept watching the video. Later, me myself, I was getting scared and I deleted the video from my phone. But the guy, uh, the makeup artist also, I mean, he kept the video. He also recorded me with his video, with his phone. So he kept the video. But later I told him, look, the thing really looks scary and I'm happy I did it because I love art. So he shouldn't post it anymore. That was about two months ago. And then, I don't know how it happened, and then he posted a video yesterday. So, I, I was up him and I said, why did you do that? And he said, he also said he doesn't know how it got on, onto the internet. I said, okay. He already did it. So I was calling him back to tell him to put the video down when I started reading comments. But um, I couldn't get to him anymore. I was trying to reach him to delay the video because I didn't want any more insults, but he refused. But come to think of it, I started um, receiving calls, messages from people I've not heard from about a decade ago. I didn't really know they still existed. So, actually, uh, with the kind of laugh people showed yesterday, coming to the house, people were calling my mother. People who never called me in a decade now have called family members that I was begging that they visited me. I was begging that they visit me. Who never visited were calling. I heard some people looked for my location at Teshi and came there. And I was surprised that, oh, okay, then uh, people still love me. And I felt loved again. That is one interesting thing about the video that the guy posted yesterday. Honestly speaking, I didn't post the video. I only did it for the fun of art. It, has, it was an act. I am an actress. So when I saw a Halloween, I said I wanted to also act. So we did it, and later I said I was not going to post it. But he posted it. I warned him not to post it because people who, re who genuinely loved me were going to hurt, even though to me it was an act. So this was what happened. And so with this development, people who actually went to the house, to look for me. Mm. Uh, people who genuinely love me, I know. I know. Kofi Amwa, Kofi Amwa went to the house to, to look for me. And then, I even watched his live video yesterday. I was just watching everybody. I was just reading. I read everything. I, mean, I have time to read. Though. I read everything. I was just reading comments, the insult, the love, everything. Then I realized, oh, so this is, this is how it feels like to be dead. And then people come to show love later. So, uh, Kofi Amwa, I thank you for you. I salute you, number one. That as usual, when I, I, really, I really needed help, when I was so suicidal, people ignored me, but you were there. And then uh, also, I don't want to mention names of those who, who are pretenders. Those who went to the house yesterday, 
and those who called my mother claiming they used to call me and blah 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 it's all a lie i told my mother i spoke with my mother i told her look don't listen to them those people who were calling you telling you they used to call me they never because some people posted on facebook that they are never going to call me again that nobody should ask them about me again it's on their facebook but i don't want to mention names when you love somebody you genuinely love them you don't show love only when they are dead but in ghana we only show love to the dead for me i do not ask for money i do not ask for mansion i do not ask for a uh, um, cars all I, I wanted was love and i think i got some love yesterday i feel loved again i don't want to talk too much on this issue to commit myself like i said earlier Yes, I did a video about two months ago. It was Halloween. Um, I don't want to read comments and get confused. It was Halloween and I love art. And so I also participated and which later I, re I decided not to post. I decided not to post, but this, uh, this guy is so stubborn. When I get rid of, of him, I'm going to kill him. It's just a statement. I'm not serious about it. So, so that that is how everything happened. Don't come and insult me. I'm an actress, and we all see this in movies all the time. Yeah. And then uh, I left home some few days ago. I left home. Uh, people who genuinely wrote and they are, they were crying, people who had sleepless nights. I, I feel so loved and I feel so loved. I feel so loved and I, I really, I can't mention names. I love you too. Anybody who says they love me, they didn't sleep, they were crying. Oh my God. I love you too. I really do appreciate everything. And I spoke with the, the, the people in my house a while ago and then they were saying that uh, a lot of people came there. Some were saying they were my siblings. Some were saying they were my friends. And I, and I told them I didn't know I had siblings. I didn't know I had friends. Because uh, there were some people who lived not too far from me. I used to call them a lot to visit me. They would be like, I'll come today. I'll come tomorrow. I'm talking about people that I used to hang around with. Ever since some of these so-called friends heard on, in the news that I was broke, like seriously broke. In a fast moving world, you need to be on top of your game. You need to be ahead of the times. We have created a utopia where your dreams can come alive. Welcome to the Express Life, your life of convenience and comfort. Here, you enjoy your freedom. Here, you enjoy your money. It's an experience of minimum charges, excellent customer service, and so much more. Join us. Live the Express Life. check on me i also do check on some people as well but let's show love whilst we are all alive not when people are dead so when i heard people were coming there crying people who didn't know my house actually looked for direction to come to my house yesterday and today i was shocked i was shocked what are you coming there to do with my my dead body if truly i was dead i didn't play a, a prank please those who are here insulting me you continue as usual i will not mind you i don't have time for you I don't have time for you. If I wanted to post this video, I would have posted it two months ago when it was done. Not now. Okay? Not now. I love you all. I love you all for showing love to the dead body. I love you all for showing love to the dead body. I love you all for driving all the way to the house to show love to the dead body. But those who genuinely love me, genuinely, I love you too. 
I love you all. And those who were in a shock, I sincerely apologize on behalf of the guy who posted the video. If I did, I would have apologized on behalf of myself.